I have always worked um, with stories and illustrations and to me the, the, the written language is a very important part of the visual language. It's, it, to me, they're, they coexist uh, in, in, in the same page, if you like. And I had done in the past uh, quite a lot of work connected to either music or poetry, um, and it was how I felt or how those pieces moved me, which was then translated onto canvas, onto steel, onto clay, uh, whatever medium I'd been interested in at the time. So it was really a natural progression for me to be working with what I call legends, except they're very alive stories that are still used by the Indians today to educate their children and to show them the phenomena of nature and how they work and how they've come about in a, in a very uh, almost whimsical way. In, in, I think that it's done in such a way that children are interested, like our fairy tales or all, all our sort of um, stories that we are told or read to as children. It's no different than that. And in fact, um, researching over the years uh, the, the different legends and stories from the Amazon basin, the parallels are extraordinary with Celtic, African, um, and you know, uh, the imagery, the, they all come from the same well. They're just told in different contexts because it's the rainforest versus, you know, the Icelandic snows and things like that. They're all about imagery. And in fact, the, the exhibition Legends of the Amazon, uh, which I did at the Museum of Modern Art in Rio and then Sao Paulo, I made sure that several corridors were printed legends. We, we printed these wonderful legends on the wall and it was very important to send out a message to schools and children to come and do work that would basically bring them into their own culture. I mean, this is part of a culture that's disappearing. A lot of it has already gone. So I think it's important that we remind the generations that are coming after us that, you know, there's such richness in our, in, in what, you know, the Indians also have to say and how they portray nature. It's an interesting thing because I also think things have gone, uh, you know, 360 degrees. Because I think that with the problems of global warming, the pro you know, the, the 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 reality that we are faced with today, people no longer look at this as cranks. You know, yes, we are going through incredible changes in the in, in our planet, and I think most people realize the degree and the severity of this, and I think that today, rather than being treated as badly or with contempt as they were treated in the past, I think that a lot of people are looking towards these native Indians and native people of countries for some answers because I think, on the other hand, we've gotten it so wrong.